Hello everyone and welcome welcome to another episode of Owen TV. This is the 18th episode of this series and today we're going to explore Dorico Pro's Lines tool. The Lines tool is located in the right panel and once you click on this arrow the panel will open and you can see that there are two different categories horizontal and if you go down you'll get to the vertical category. Let's start with the horizontal ones. I will select a note and then click on one of the lines. So I'm gonna just click here and then let's say I'm just gonna click this. And as you can see, it is added to the score and it also works for the other ones as well. Super neat and easy. You can also do it the other way around and uh, for that, we're gonna deselect by clicking on anywhere but your notes. So I'm gonna click here. Then select your line. For example, I wanna select this line and I'm gonna just put it wherever I want. And if you use this tiny thingy, the indicator here, you can also change the duration of it. But, uh, in order to make the lines entry a bit easier and more precise, and this is even before going to engrave mode, because in engrave mode you can do whatever you want with them, Dorico gave us some options which we can use. As you can see, there are three choices on the left, which is the indication for the beginning of the line, and there are also three choices on the right, and these are the ending of the line. And these three choices are note head, bar line and rhythmic position. Now let me explain with some examples. Let's say I want the line to start on a note and then ends on the next note that is the closest to it. So I'm gonna just delete this one. I'm gonna say, uh, hey, I want uh, from you. So I'm gonna just select this one. Then I go to the right panel. I select this. So I'm gonna say start attach to the note head, and then please go and attach yourself to another note. So it's gonna automatically find it. And if I come here, I can just select one. And as you can see, it is added to my score. Super neat and super nice. And the good thing about Dorico with these lines is that if you move your note, the line is gonna move itself as well. And now let's start with another option. Uh, let's say um, start to bar line and then also maybe end on bar line as well. So basically what, what we'll do is that it will um, find the closest bar line here and then it will attach it to the uh, bar line there. I'm gonna use this guy now, as you can see, it's attached to the closest one and I'm gonna grab it and it will fit right here. As you can see, it's just about the fitting and the snap. And super nice and neat uh, was added here. But then let me show you the difference of the other one. Now I'm gonna put it on this one, which is the attached to rhythmic position. This one as well. Let's select this guy and add another one. Okay, let me grab it. So you see the tiny difference here? This is just the, from the duration, so it's adding it from basically from uh, your note here to the end of the note and not really the bar line. And it's, uh, it can be aesthetics or just uh, whatever you want it to be uh, in your engraving. And of course you can modify them later in, in engrave mode anyway. And as I told you uh, with the mouse click that you can grab and move this, um, you can also use uh, Alt and Arrow to really move it, same as the notes that I told you. So you, if you hold Alt and Arrow keys, you move them left and right. Or if you use Alt and Shift, wherever they are, it will increase or decrease the uh, length and duration of the lines. But if you want to know more about the useful shortcuts, I prepared a blog and you can check them out if you want. Link will be in the description below. Now let's check out the uh, vertical ones. It's quite straightforward, but there is a difference. 
Um, let me add one and then you can see uh, that there's just a tiny thing to change. I'm gonna go down here. Then I will select the part, the note here. So this A, then let's just add this one. So the difference is that this is a tiny thing here. We, it's not what you expect it to be. And uh, what you can do is that this time you really have to go to engrave mode because there are no indicators that you can change it. So go to engrave mode by uh, clicking on it or you can also use control and three as a shortcut. Once you're here, then you can easily modify your line. Or you can modify everything. This one was an accident, but as you can see, you can modify, you can do whatever you want with it, okay? Now let's go back. Uh, just a tip uh, for you guys to know, because I also discovered it today when I was preparing this tutorial, is that if you're in galley view, uh, the length is gonna be the same as this was before. So you, if you take a look at here, the line is like straight up. But now if I go to galley view, which is the panorama view, as you can see, that length is still tiny. So don't worry if you change your change something in your engrave mode, but then you go back to write mode, it's gonna still look like this, but in your actual score, which is the page view, it will look nice. And on a different topic, if you're thinking about music production, I'm working on a new set of videos that is tailored to composers and more classically trained uh, musicians to help them transition and also to get into production and music editing software. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. And also, if you like this video, a slap on the like would be amazing too. And well, let's continue with the rest of the video. Now we're gonna check out some advanced features. Let me highlight one of the lines and then open the lower panel. So I'm gonna highlight maybe, well, let me add one, actually it's better. I'm gonna add this guy here, nice. Highlight it, then I will go back in the lower panel. As you can see, horizontal lines here. Now let's explore. The first one is the placement. So you can check, you can change the placement of it inside the staff, above, below, whatever you like. This is the reverse, which is not showing now because both ends are the same. So it just reverses the, uh, the looks. Now this is the horizontal start position. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. So you can clearly see it. Check this out. This is a horizontal end position. If I put it on the right hand side of the final note, it's gonna be a tiny bit over. This is gonna be the center and immediately before the following note. Oh yeah, actually I just noticed I changed this. So yeah, this is similar to that. So this is the note head and then note head center in the beginning and then accidental. So if you have accidental here, as you can see the line has a bit of a distance there. Then you have the line body style, which you can change it to whatever you want. It's pretty cool here. You can do a lot of nice stuff here. All right. And you have the start cap. Uh, for example, I'm gonna say uh, the start cap to be, um, well, the line was nice actually. Where was it? Yeah, right here. This is pretty cool here. And then you have the end cap. You can do, you can again change it, but now it's not really changing. Oh yeah, now it's changing because the, the wiggly line is a bit confusing. And then you have the continuation cap, which continuation cap is used for moments where you are, uh, where your phrases or the list line goes through the next system. And, uh, this will help you to change the uh, appearance for the end of your uh, system. But uh, let's continue. Continuation cap. So these are the same thing with the, uh, with the continuation. And there is a fun thing right here, which I really love. It's the text section. Let's say Homayun TV. And I'm going to click away. As you can see, it's added up here. Super nice. 
and you can change the text position. I'm gonna say it's gonna be inside or well, that doesn't have inside apparently because it's a bit weird. Oh yeah, so it's gonna be centered, text placement, center or at the end or, well, this one doesn't work now as you can see because it this one is only meant for the uh, vertical ones. So I'm gonna click here and then text. I'm gonna write a text, Homayun, yours truly. And you can see the text now looking like this, but I'm gonna make it horizontal. Super nice. And in the next video in this series, I'll tell you how you can modify your lines even more. And we gradually will finish the right mode and move to engrave mode. I hope that you enjoyed this video and hopefully see you in the next one. Yours truly, cheers and Humayun out.